So here we have the 2015 Mount Harlan Viognier. So Viognier, first of all, has been something that we've been making since the late 80s. Uh, Josh Jensen was a big fan of Viognier. Uh, from doing his time down at Chateau Grier, he fell in love with it and always wanted to bring it into the United States. And at that time, in the early 80s, there really wasn't any Viognier in California. There were only, I think, four producers when we first started making this wine. Uh, what we do differently with Viognier from Chardonnay is Viognier does not see any new oak. In fact, we've really gone more to um, using concrete for this, for this wine. Really? We're fermenting in concrete, no new oak. Um, but again, like all of our wines, it's native yeast fermented. It, um, this one sees about a little bit longer in that concrete um, tank, maybe about 12 to 14 months before we bottle it. And what I like about our Viognier is I think it's really got the, the classic Viognier characteristics um, where you get almost that peaches and cream uh, aromatics. Um, there's a great viscosity to it. But again, my, the importance to me with Viognier and, and, and the greatest Viogniers is that there is still that acid that runs through that Viognier that carries it. A lot of Viogniers can get really flabby and be very unbearable and kind of too viscous. This, this wine's fermented dry and it's, it's got the Viognier classic characteristics. There's this viscosity to the 2015 Mount Harlan Viognier. Um, but really it's, it's, it's the acid that drives this wine and that viscosity kind of just holds it back there. And it just, and it just takes it and gives it so much more depth. But really the, the, the aromatics are key to Viognier. I, I, I believe to, to know that you're drinking a Viognier, you have to have those, those very uh, typical kind of peaches and cream and, you know, with a blend of maybe, you know, uh, like some Meyer lemon or something like that, but it's, it's, it's. So now we're gonna be tasting the 2016 Mount Harlan Chardonnay. So, Mount Harlan Chardonnay, just to differentiate between the Mount Harlan Chardonnay and the Josh Jensen Selection Chardonnay, uh, we really try to focus on making these wines in the same style, meaning that they get pressed and they get barrel fermented, they, all of them. The difference with the Mount Harlan Chardonnay is it sees a little bit more new oak, so it's about 30% new oak, and it will age in barrel for a little bit longer. I find that the, the tannins that come off of, of Mount Harlan really lend itself to being able to keep these in barrel for longer. They stay more stable. Um, and I feel like with that extra time, maybe 15 months of barrel aging, you're really bringing out secondary characteristics to this wine. Um, it's all Sir Lee, so the, the Lees will actually get stirred into this, you know, once or twice a month for, uh, you know, usually up till about June. And then I just let this thing settle out. Um, what I like about these wines, uh, the Mount Harlan Chardonnay is, is, is one of my favorites because it's, it, it takes a little bit more winemaking, you know, than, than say Pinot. Pinot really um, kind of, I, I feel like it does its own thing. It's all made from the vineyard, you know. Mount Harlan Chardonnay takes time to, to perfect. This reminds me of my grandmother right now for some reason. You know, it's, uh, I remember when I was younger, my grandmother used to drink wine. I used to pour her a glass of wine, but it, it, there was a, an aromatic, not from the wine, but being at my grandmother's house when, when we were younger. The 2016 Mount Harlan Chardonnay to me is, is, is one of our, our very best Chardonnays I think we've ever made here. It, 
it, it really encompasses what I'm looking for in a Chardonnay. Uh, it's different than the Central Coast because it, Mount Harlan doesn't have typical aromatics that, um, you know, that you get from a lot of the other wine uh, Chardonnays in, in Central Coast. It's a little bit more subdued, um, but it's got it's got such power and depth to it. This wine um, has very kind of really more of a mineral uh, esque nose with some subdued like you know uh, fruit characteristics, but they're but they're just they're muted a bit. You put this in your mouth though. I mean, this has got power. It's got it's the barrel. I think really helps out. It really coats the mouth. Um, but the acid drives this wine like most of my wines, you know, that most of our wines do. Um, this wine to me is, is drinking very, very well. Right. What we have here is our 2016 Ryan Vineyard Pinot Noir. So let's just talk a little bit about our Pinot Noir from Mount Harlan. We have six single vineyard Pinots. Uh, Ryan is actually our youngest of the six. It was planted in 1998 um, and we made the first vintage in 2002. Uh, what I like about this now, you know, those are considered young vines for us, but it's not really that young anymore, right? I mean, this is, this is now some, this is over 21 years old or well, 1998, but 23 years old. So it's legal to drink here in the United States now. Um, what I what I like about seeing these wines, these vineyards progress, is that the wines progress with the vineyards. As the vineyard ages, the, the wines become a little more mellow. The tannins start to really form into a, a softer tannin, uh, and you're starting to gain secondary um, secondary flavors and, and a little bit more complexity with these wines. And 2016 Ryan to me has been kind of a really standout wine amongst uh, a lot of these Mount Harlands because I think 2016 was the year I think that this thing finally really grew up. Quick one. Um, I think Pinot Noir is the most versatile of all grapes. I think Pinot Noir pairs well with, with fish, even white fish, um, all the way through to beef. Wagyu especially. I really like that. <laughs> so this is what put us on the map in, in Japan. I believe it was the 1987 Jensen, but Jensen is a big hit in Japan and for a good reason. Um, this is the 2016 uh, Jensen Vineyard. So Jensen was one of the original plantings in 1975. It um, and it really has, you know, what we were talking about earlier is is complexity, right? Uh, when these vines age, they gain more complexity. Jensen is is probably the the premier example of that. Uh, now it's 40, 45 years old, and this wine is really showing, you know it's the depth that you can get from a Pinot Noir. Uh, what I like about these wines is they're not like your typical California Pinot Noir. They have more tannin, more phenolics, more structure that lend themselves to these wines. So these wines are very ageable. Um, we're, we drink 20, 25 year old Pinots from Mount Harlan and they are showing beautifully. Um, so, what I like to do as a winemaker though, is the way I like to think about wine is that I'm making a wine that you can drink anytime, right? So if you have a bottle of Jensen and, and you're trying to plan the perfect time to drink that wine, if you have that one bottle, when you open it is the perfect time to drink it. Thank you everybody for listening and buying our wines and continuing to support us. Um, I can't wait to get back to Japan. You people are the best. Um, keep on rocking. Let's get through this safe and sane.